Hi Aquarius, this is your monthly August 2020 tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please check out uh, the featured video for more details and also donate to support this channel. This first spread is uh, one card per time period in August for events or people you'll be dealing with. Uh, the first card is for August 1st through August 10th. We've got the Sun. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Um, it's also all about clarity or you could be spending some time on the beach under the sun so it's a it's a very good card one of the best cards in the deck um, the second card is for August 11th through August 20th we've got the nine of Pentacles uh, this is either you just being by yourself and you're feeling fine or it could be money coming towards you uh, so you've got your coins in a row, you're just uh, happy with yourself and uh, you're enjoying the time by yourself. And uh, the third card is for August 21st through August 31st. We've got the Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Or somebody must have noticed you, how um, adorable you are. You could be an eye candy or how independent you are in the middle of the month and now they're making you this uh, love offer. The Knight of Cups usually means uh, that the offer is actually very genuine and they truly do have deep emotions for you. Let's talk about new love for you Aquarius this month. Uh, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, then we have the Knight of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups. We also have the Six of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So uh, I think that is you, Aquarius, in the Nine of Pentacles, the first card on the left. Uh, this is a card of somebody who is very self-sufficient, independent, someone who projects self-confidence. You could be admired by many, and many want to be with you. <laughs> uh, basically, this is somebody who stands out of the crowd. Right, and then we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups. So here comes this person who is mesmerized by your beauty and your wits and how smart you are. And uh, they do want to offer you their cup of love. And the Knight of Cups is uh, usually someone who does have really deep, serious feelings towards uh, or towards the person they want to make this offer to. And the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment for you. It's also possible that you could be meeting this person uh, somewhere at a party or at some kind of a gathering or an event where refreshments are served. Um, and then we have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory. This is a card of a success, a card of a winning. And back in the day, the Six of Wands was the proposal card. So um, this relationship could start unfolding really, really quickly for you. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is actually the outcome. And for many, the Ten of Pentacles is the marriage card. Or at least it's a committed relationship, a long-term relationship. The type of a relationship that uh, is very stable and very abundant. So, um, yeah, this looks very, very promising, Aquarius. Uh, you have somebody who is coming in and uh, they want love, they want abundance with you, they want happiness and they want the commitment with you. Looks awesome, Aquarius. Congratulations. Aquarius, I usually do an extended spread for new love, but uh, I'm not going to do it for you. I didn't do it for Capricorn either. Perhaps you're dealing with a Capricorn. Or, um, most likely not. Um, I'm not doing an extended because it's a very clear picture here. You are heading towards a committed relationship. So um, there you go. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Devil, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. What's funny is that in the end of the uh, new love spread I said that you could be dealing with a Capricorn but most likely not because Capricorn had a very similar reading and I didn't do an extended for them either but guess what the very first card that came out for the couple 
spread is the devil, which is the personal Capricorn card. <laughs> so you you got to be careful what you wish for. Or perhaps my connection is uh, really, really strong right now. <laughs> um, so anyway, so you've got the devil, um, which is either a Capricorn you're dealing with or someone whom uh, you feel like you're bonded to this person. You feel this unnatural pull towards this person, right? And uh, we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. This is an offer. It's a, it could be an offer to get married um, or take your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. Um, so if you were just casually dating, you could be taking this relationship uh, to the level you want it to be. You could be moving in together or you could be making it official. We also have the Page of Wands here. This is a card of um, basically you spicing things up a little bit in your relationship. You're flirting with each other. You're just having a whole bunch of fun, a load, both a boatload of fun. Uh, you could be going motorboating or something on the lake. Uh, we've got the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is either you or your significant other who is trying to decide, who is weighing all pros and cons before they make this offer. Or it could be you thinking about this offer after they make it to you. But um, like I said, the uh, Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It could be a start to a brand new life. So if the if this person really resonates with you, really vibes with you, then yeah, take it to the next level and uh, be happy. So um, congratulations, Aquarius. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this month. And keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, maybe five years ago. We don't know. We've got the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Then we have the Hangman, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So yeah, we do have this Queen of Wands. This is either a Fire Sign you're dealing with. You're, um, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or, this is the way they see you as the Queen of Wands, somebody who is very passionate, very fiery, who is easy to get up and go. And I think that is you in the Nine of Wands, uh, the first card on the left. This is a card of a wounded warrior, so uh, your very first reaction to this person coming back around will be uh, you're going to be on the defense. Uh, you're putting up a wall against this person, perhaps they hurt you really badly in the past, and uh, at least in the beginning of the negotiations of this reconciliation you are going to be closed off but we have two aces here the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles the two aces barely ever come out in a small read like this in a small spread like that um, to me this symbolizes that this person really really does want you back they're still in love with you and they offer, want to offer you everything they've got um, they had this aha moment at some point that I see in the hangman. They had that epiphany. They realized you're the one for them and uh, I think they are ready to do whatever it takes to get you back. Or it could be the other way around, that's you doing it to uh, your ex. Because uh, we do have the queen of wands here, right? It could be them. So, either way, the two aces, like I said, are, this is a very rare occasion. So if you are the one on the receiving end of this reconciliation offer, and then, and if they did not screw you over really badly in the past, then perhaps you can give this person another chance and see where that takes you. Because I think this person genuinely, genuinely has feelings for you, and they are ready to invest into this, really, into this relationship. Let's talk about your work, your business and finances, Aquarius. We've got the Ten of Swords, Death, the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Wow, so something is coming to you a definite and complete end. You could be retiring this month, you could be deciding to retire, 
or perhaps uh, you thought you were going to retire at some point in the future, but then you said, you know what, screw it, I'm done. <laughs> and uh, so the Ten of Swords and Death, uh, both cards are about ending something. Uh, you could be quitting your job or you could be winning a lottery and deciding that you no longer need to work. Yeah, that's also an option, right? So the Three of Pentacles is the card of your workplace or your business, which you are leaving behind. And we've got the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This card is all about celebration. So, uh, like I said, if you are retiring, then there will be a retirement party. Or if uh, you got money some other way, then you're celebrating that as well. So, um, something is coming to an end for sure, but you're, but you're happy about it. You're celebrating this event. Let's talk about an advice for you, Aquarius, for the whole month of August. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords in the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. So the Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to um, relationships, marriages, committed relationships, relationships that last a very long time, a lifetime. And we've got the two of ones. This is you making plans about the relationship, or you're thinking about starting a family overall. And the page of pentacles is you starting to, um, I think, working. You start working on the financial side of that. And we've got the knight of swords. This is most likely your energy, Aquarius, and uh, you're starting to actively do something about it. So the advice is. If you haven't started thinking about a f starting a family or a committed relationship, then uh, you should start this month. <laughs> At least make, start making plans about it, start investing money, um, perhaps open a 401k or open a savings account and just make plans when it comes to your committed relationship or your family in the future. All right. Well. Hopefully that resonates, Aquarius, and have a fantastic month. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.